All right, let's begin a brand new project. So I'm going to click on create the REPL. And we're going to do it in C. And let's call this one C programming skills using REPLIT. And this is guess what? So this is our guess what program. And uh, I'll say guess what prog. And uh, we'll make it public and we'll click on create REPL. And, and here's our starting point, as we always know, and we click on run and it builds our hello world. Now, so far in all our lessons, we focused all our attention on main.c. For the first time ever, we're going to go over here where it says files, and we're going to add additional files. In fact, this is going to get us into the topic of modular programming, where you have different modules, different files that do different uh, functions for you. So what I'm going to do is come over here and right here where it says add a file, I'm going to click on add a file. And the first file I'm going to add is welcome.h.h .h for header file. And I'll press enter. And in this welcome.h I'm going to say put as a comment, so two slashes is a comment, welcome.h. And a key learning, a key skill is to know that this provides the interface, the interface to welcome.c. In other words, the interface is going to be the names of the functions that are called, that we can call inside of here. The interface the interface provides a well-known way of, of using this. As an example, we could say we're going to have a function that doesn't return anything, but the name of the function is going to be called welcome. And we won't have any inputs, and we'll put a semicolon. And that is actually all we put in the header file. We can give this to a developer and say, you can call this function and it will be implemented somewhere else, but this is the interface. You call this and it'll be implemented. Now it turns out this is exactly what we've been doing with printf. We have called printf. We don't know how it was written, we just know we've been using it. Where it turns out, printf is inside this header file this standard.h header file. Well, we're, we are putting a header file called welcome, and we have, instead of printf, we have a welcome. Now, I'll go ahead and click add file. For every header file, there's a backing.c file. So welcome.c. And in our welcome.c, this is the implementation. The C file is where you implement the code. What code do you implement? Include welcome.h. That's what you're going to implement. Whatever is in welcome.h has to be implemented here. So when we go back to welcome.h, we see we only have a single function for this, our first example. Now, in real life, you may have lots of different functions in a header file. Here we just have one. And in fact, I would encourage you to select this, copy it into your buffer from your .h file, go over to your .c file, and paste it, being careful to remove that semicolon and replace it with the open and close curly braces. And actually for right now, let's just do a printf and say percent s backslash n 
and put underscore underscore function underscore underscore for the semicolon. Now remember you should be following along. You should be have created your project and be following along. And I want you to notice as soon as I type printf we've got us our warning implicitly declaring. Anytime you see implicitly declaring it tells you you are missing a header file. Well we see here it says implicit declaring but over here on main.c it's fine and the only difference is this include file. So go back to your welcome.c and paste in this header file and notice right away that went away. Now you may be observing the less than greater than compared to the quotes. The less than greater than sign are system header files. That is someone external to you wrote this. This is part of the system itself. Whereas when you're using double quotes this is project header files. These are coming from your project. The double quotes say look inside your project and you should be able to find a welcome.h. Now again I want to stress this is like a major milestone in our course because the first time ever we've got a header file, we've got an implementation, and that means in main.c if we want to use this we need to tell main.c to include welcome.h. We need to tell hey main I'm going to use welcome and in fact right here let's replace this with welcome. Again I want to stress this is a major major skill and in fact we'll use it from here on that when you're writing code you make it as modular as possible and that is you will have many many files in fact projects that I work on have thousands of files you heard that right thousands of files in a project hundreds of files you may I mean, we'll, in this course, we'll, we probably won't get past 100 files, at least in the code we write. But in, in projects production, it, it could be hundreds, it could be thousands of files. So we're talking about massive. But by doing that, you could assign a developer to focus just on this file. So while one developer is focused here, another developer could be focused here. Makes it modular. Now it turns out there's one thing we've got missing from here and watch this very carefully and follow along. I'm going to say the pound sign if indef and notice the n there. n stands for not. So if not defined underscore underscore welcome underscore underscore. If not defined then define underscore underscore welcome and make sure those are spelled exactly right exactly alike also make sure you're saying if not defined I find an error a lot of people make is they'll say if defined it's not if it's in in for not if not defined define it and then the last thing to put is in if now what in the world is this doing? <laughs> You'll see this on every header file, every .h file. The compiler, and we know your code is compiled file by file, it gets compiled. What this tells the compiler is as it's compiling this code, if this underscore underscore welcome underscore underscore is not defined, in other words, it's never compiled this file again before, it's the first time, then it will define it. It will define it. 
Well, that means the second time it comes through here, if it needed to read this a second time, it would already be defined and it wouldn't have to reread this. So basically what this does is ensures, basically we're going sure the header file included only once. That's what this does. And every time you create a header file, you'll always have the if not defined and defined. And you can call this anything you want. Different developers use different conventions. Uh, what I typically do is take the name of the file and put the, the basically make it all uppercase and put two underscore underscores. I mean, we could call this John Doe if we wanted to. It could be anything, but the convention I'll follow, again, is like this. So this ensures the header file is included only once. So let's review what we did. We've got a main.c. Main.c is going to include welcome.h. Why? Because it wants to use this welcome function. Welcome.h defines the function. In fact, this is sometimes called a function prototype. A prototype. The prototype, notice it's not, it does not have an implementation in this file. It just says this is the interface. This is how you can call it. The implementation is here. So after all that, if we go to our main.c and click on run, all right, we called welcome. And for right now, this is probably a good place to stop this video because this is, again, a huge concept. So I would recommend you make sure you have this code. Uh, make sure you understand what we did. Uh, even if you need to watch the video multiple times, uh, this is so important. And then in the next video, we'll continue on this. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.